Hi, I'm Kelly. I work at Super Plastic Surgery, and today we're going to go over post-op scars. Okay, Kelly, will I have scars after my procedure? Yes. No matter what, you're always going to have incision marks. Um, how you scar, though, is mainly indicative of basically your genetics, unfortunately. So um, we can do the same procedure 100 times and get 100 different scars. Okay, where will my scars be located if I get a traditional breast dog? Um, traditional breast dogs, the scar is right here in the breast fold. Um, it's typically about this long and it sits just right kind of in the fold so you can't really see it once all said and done. What about if I'm getting Lipo360? Lipo360 have several incisions. Um, they are all very tiny, about this big. Um, they're all in very discreet locations. Um, so you have two down by your pubic area, you have one in the belly button, you have one in each breast fold, and then um, for the back portion you have one in the tailbone and then one in the mid-back. Um, the one in the mid-back just looks like you had a mole removed. Okay, Kelly, when do they begin to heal and what will they look like? Um, so they start healing as soon as surgery is over. Um, we have patients, our protocols, patients wear steri strips for about three weeks and then we get them started on a scar cream called Biocorneum. Um, it's basically a silicone gel that just helps your, to minimize your scars as much as possible. And when will they look their worst? They typically look their worst between three to six months. That's when your scars are the kind of darkest, they have the most pigment, they can be super red at that point and then they kind of fade from there. So this would be the typical size of a lipo incision scar. This would be the incision size under the breast fold for a primary breast dog. 